What up guys, it's Fortnite2156 here. And you know what? There's one thing I gotta talk about before I get into this video. Y'all know the boy Redneck TV vlogs. He was a dipper, a real popular dipper on YouTube. I guess he just didn't like the way YouTube was saying Redneck TV is a racist comment or something. Boy, if they ever ma made me change my name from Ford Neck, I would cuss their asses out. I have no problem doing that. You think just because you drive trucks, you live in the country and all that, you can call yourself a redneck? It's, it's what you stand up and believe in. But here, let me give you a little shot of what I'm looking at right now and I'm looking at his channel right now let's see if I can get his channel in there I gotta look at myself that's good L O E T V random nonsense uploaded whenever the hell what the hell is right When I subscribed to him, he was Redneck TV. He would upload random nonsense. Not really nonsense. It was re basically reviewing stuff, acting a little crazy, but that's entertainment. But for this right here to be like this, it ain't even right. So you know what I say? If YouTube wants me to change my name... Good luck trying to get me to change my damn name. My subscribers have known me as Ford Neck, and I ain't going to change for no man. Or woman. So, without further ado, I'm going to put you on a little bit louder voice so I can uh, do this video. So, let's get right into the video. Alright, shall we? Sorry, I look like a ding. Just got out of bed. Crap. Uh, right now, this video, and I wanted to do the beginning of this, this way, uh, so that y'all could actually see what all these dippers and all these YouTubers have actually gone through. Redneck TV, Outlaw Dipper, you know, all these different names have all gone through pain in the ass trying to keep names that they've had for a long time. One of his videos that still has the logo in the corner of it. RNTV Vlogs. That's a year ago. He most recently did this change. I guess since he got Iron Cross Automotive, Interco, Tire Corporation, Mud Jug, Spittoon, well he's always had that one. Rough County Suspension System, Truck Stuff. But if y'all show love and appreciation for Redneck TV, like I did, I hate this fucking name. Good Loy, or L-O-E, TV? Who the stupid comes up with that shit? His name was Redneck TV, and I still will call him that shit. But that name gotta go, man. But let's get into the review today. Since a lot of dippers, and I never thought I'd be back, or I would ever dip, Skull. I don't have a fear of saying this, but I don't like Skull. I prefer Grizzly, Longhorn. I don't even like Copenhagen anymore. I used to dip them all the time. But now, I'm dipping on... Some skull, I can't believe I'm goddamn saying this. Some skull extra mint. Uh, long cut. I don't do pouches. The only reason why that last video was pouches is because that's all they had down there at my store. Come on, y'all. Order more stuff. Get more than you really need. It's a benefit. Uh, 
because you never know when people are going to buy dip. And now that people are getting more into dipping than smoking or vaping, I am proud to call myself a dipper on YouTube. Because, let me tell you something. As a lot of people are starting to find out, but I've been preaching it ever since vaping has first come out. That's a real bad idea. The nicotine content is not certified from the government. People can just add their own juice how strong they want. So they can't so-called govern it. So you're going to wind up with nicotine overdose any damn way. Uh, to, that, that nicotine is the addictive drug in these things. And I wish people would get that freaking out of their head. That tobacco is not bad for you. It's the nicotine that companies put in the goddamn thing. Nicotine is a chemical put in there by tobacco companies to get you addicted to their shit. Yes, I do. I don't have a problem with it. But God damn it, people that say, oh, this is bad, it has nicotine and all this crap. Go jump off a bridge. Seriously. Nicotine is a drug. Just like cocaine. Just like marijuana. Just like any of those others. Cigarettes are a drug because it has nicotine. The only time that you cannot ever say smoking is not a drug of any type. Vaping, smoking, dipping, any of that is if you're dipping the leaves from the plant directly from the plant and not from a fucking company. Thank you. Same with marijuana. It's an herb. Get that through y'all's thick damn skull. Marijuana is an herb. Not a drug. People have mixed shit with marijuana. That's a fucking drug. If you haven't picked it off the plant your damn self, do not smoke it. If you live in California and there's distributors, do not go to them. Because all they are doing is giving you stuff that has a mix in it. There's a few good distributors that are actually distributing really good products. T-Rex Concentrate is a one good one. I wish I lived in a place where I could buy from them. But I'm not. Uh, it, there's a lot of people that I've gone to visit their home. I've smoked weed at their house from T-Rex Concentrate. Uh, some of my friends have visited me from California. Uh, brought some from there. It's great. I mean, it's good flavor, really good aroma. Uh, one I had was their T-Rex Concentrate Girl Scout cookie, I think it was. That was a while ago, but yeah. And I liked it. But this time, y'all gotta stop calling drugs drugs when they're actually herbal. Cocaine is made out of a leaf, except it's a process of making it into a chemical. That I don't agree with. That one is a drug. It's a lot harsher to your body, mind. Fentanyl. If you do that, you're going to be screwed for life, man. Or female. But why I wanted to talk also, but before I start the whole video, is because people have been labeling things that are not true. Tobacco. For instance, people have been labeling that, oh, dip and cigarettes are bad for you. Why don't you go vaping and all this stuff? Well, ma'am, sir, whoever is watching, 
here's one thing. What's the number one ingredient in all three? Nicotine. Sure, you can buy the non-nicotine juices, but if you are a smoker or a dipper, you're going to be looking for a nicotine wiener or weaning. Ugh. Can't say that term at all. You're weaning yourself off of nicotine. So basically, you're looking for that nicotine. But then once you start doing it, with vaping, you feel like it's easier because it has flavors. A lot of teenagers get addicted to that because they may not know that it has nicotine, but they thought maybe because it's a flavored one, oh, it doesn't have nicotine. Let me just go ahead. And they're addicted. But in all these products, nicotine is the number one ingredient. Think about that. So is it really the safest alternative? Probably not. Is smoking an alternative? No. Not, not really. Is dip a safer one? No. Not really. Vaping? Nope. Not really. Literally. There is no safe alternative. The safe alternative is not doing it in the first damn place. Ah, oh, okay. Enough about that. Let's get right into the video because it's already going on 11 minutes on my phone. Uh, a pinch better since 1934 skull. Long cut mint extra. They always have these damn warning labels. I hate when they do this. Uh, this one came from Nashville, Tennessee. Shout outs to y'all at the Smokeless Tobacco Company, Nashville, Tennessee. Shout out to y'all. I do appreciate y'all. This was roughly about 375, I believe, here. Uh, I got two cans of the same thing because I, uh, whenever I buy one, I gotta have two just so I can give you a full review. I do like these dips just because they are real, real cheap uh longhorn is a cheap one i like but let's get right into this review i'm gonna pack it because this one i've already opened i dipped it one one dip last night just to see what the flavors were like these are between a right between like right in the middle of all the dips between copenhagen and grizzly you know how copenhagen has a mild flavor and grizzly has a real strong flavor this one's right in the middle. Uh, even though it is just mint, and most mints are real strong in general, uh, I do like this one because it is mild. Uh, but their wintergreen is way too mild. I get more tobacco-y flavor out of that one. Because I had done that not in a review. Uh, that was a long time ago when I was dipping with one of my friends. Let's see what this stuff looks like. I, look, I didn't look at it because I had my light off. That smells like toothpaste. It smells good though. Let me see if I can't get a good pick for you. Let me pick my phone up real quick. Uh, don't worry about all the trash. I'm trying to get it all in the view. There you go. Yeah, that's what it looks like in the can. So now let's pop one in. And I'm going to say what a redneck TV would have said in his videos. And because I liked his videos, I watched every single one of his videos until he changed his name, which I think is stupid. Uh... And I wish I had like a little play thing that would play it for us. His statement to his video. If you got a dip around and you have one in your lip. Let's pack it and dip it with me y'all. Yeah, my impression of him at least. It sucks a little. Because I can't get his attitude. That's what I think we all like about him. Uh, so I'm going to pack it a few times. And just like he says, it doesn't matter how many times you pack. 
your debt. It's whatever you feel comfortable doing. Like I feel, you know, seven, eight packs might be enough. It's just fun to do that motion. And I can even do it just without a can in my hand. Uh, but shout outs to Redneck TV, or now it's called Good LOE TV. Wish you would change back, brother. But yeah, let's get this dip in. I'm going to do one of his hoggers. I do have a mud jug. Let me go grab it real quick. All the other ones are filthy. I gotta clean them out soon. So, give me one minute. So I'll be spinning in the olive green mud jug. Shout out to mud jug again. I love this company so much because they make spitter spittoons that are American made. The real what good weight. But let's talk about the dip. So most people, when they are going for their very first dip they'll always buy skull because that's what most non-knowledgeable people will buy them skull is a college high school dip that's what I call it at least it's mild but it has a real good strong scent so I do agree with it being for high school and college because it's like you just took a breath mint. But when you get it out of this, which doesn't have really much of a burn or really much of a tongue teeth or as I like to call them, your next step will probably be going up to Copenhagen. Which is a, nut, a little step up from Skull, how mild it is. And I said it before that Copenhagen and Grizzly, this was a dipper at between. I don't think that. Now, this one's even more milder than Copenhagen. Like I said, I don't re-script re my, you know, videos. I just do them when I do them. Uh, this skull, it's the latter form, literally. This is like you're going into high school dip. It's a little attitude-y, but it's not. It's kind of shy. You just want people to leave you alone. Then you go up to a college. Which you want something a little bit mild, but you want it strong too. You aren't sure about what you want to do in life. Then you get your work life. After college, after school. Grizzly. Super strong, super confident, super robust. Uh, it's 
the dip that you dip before and then actually I would have to say that skull and longhorn were both the same high school dips because you can't afford much more but I would say that yeah but my review over this product good flavor good mouthfeel dark color and spit so you can't say yellow outlaw it's not really yellow it's more of a brownish tinge so yeah I would give this if I did a rating between 1 and 10 I'd have to give it a 5 because it's just not strong you know real strong burn like I usually like my dips but that could be that I haven't dipped in a while so I mean that's I mean I've dipped almost every day and every night this week so my gums aren't desensitized to it like yep people that sleep yeah you know, that will go to sleep let their mouths recoup uh, I'll explain more in another video but right now it's 22 seconds so I'm going to end it here. If y'all like this video and you want to see more, I appreciate all the views and likes that y'all showed. Uh, I appreciate them. If you want to subscribe to me, I'd appreciate that. If you want to subscribe to, say, Goodlow TV, show him your appreciation. Tell him to change his name back. If you are subscribed to him, tell him to change his name, name back. He's Redneck TV. As you can see, if you look back a year, he was only Redneck TV. Uh, but, like I said, Mud Jug, always go on to Mud Jug. Get your sp portable spittoon from them. Don't get it off of Amazon. Don't get it off of those. They actually have a thing where if you buy, say, one of their special ones, like the Outlaw Watermelon, you can get a free one of either black hunter orange olive green your plain tan roadies uh i don't have my roadie with me that's downstairs i believe uh yeah um flask which is your spit buddy that you can put into a jacket pocket or pant pocket and spit into that stuff buddy as it's called or you can donate that mud jug to someone overseas in the military, which I did a couple of them I've sent over there. I've also sent some of these to my friends. Uh, so I do recommend you always try your hardest to get the stuff straight from the facility. It may not be the most wise thing if you're doing spittoons definitely go with a reputable dealer like mudjug1 or mudjug.com or check them out on mudjug dot or mudjug1 dot on youtube uh so shout outs to y'all y'all have made dipping same with outlaw he's been going through a phase right now uh, Live to Thrill, Outlaw, Mudjug1 on YouTube, Redneck TV, or now Good Low TV. Uh, all of them were my inspiration to start my channel. Especially Outlaw, Redneck. Those two were the inspirations to me. Uh, to start my full channel dipping then my gaming one came in when I started watching uh, Jacksepticeye I wanted to be a gamer youtuber so this channel is a gaming slash dipping and smoking channel but I won't do vaping and if y'all think that's mean of me to say I won't do that have y'all really looked up on YouTube the reality of vaping 
there's so many people that are suffering with uh piercing lungs because if you don't if you never heard the story there was a weightlifter long time ago i'm going to tell the story then end my video it was a weightlifter who is smoking on a crack pipe the same dimensions as the hole that you breathe through on a dam vaping He was breathing through that so much that his lung, he couldn't get enough oxygen to his lung. And finally, it pierced. You know, the, the smoke itself pierced his lung, collapsing it. Vaping, yes, you can buy mods that have bigger openings up there, but still the same thing. You're restricting your airflow. You know those masks that people high altitude masks that people actually buy and put on their face when they work out? Restricting your airflow can weaken your lungs. Uh, doctors have even seen that happen. And I've seen a lot of people that post on YouTube about vaping that their lungs get as they're called pincushioned lungs. Uh, I had a friend that had pincushion lungs, but not from vaping. He was smoking crack. I don't, I didn't know about that until after he went to the hospital. But like I said, if you're gonna s smoke, when you take that f hit, Relax for a little while. Don't go back and take enough. And don't take a big ass hit of smoke. Take a mild one to where you aren't, you know, struggling to take it down. And don't do lung hits. People say, oh, I can do lung hits. I can do lung hits. Don't do those. Do mouth, then lung. And I've showed y'all in a couple of my smoking videos how I do that. You take it into your mouth first. Then you, after you put the cigarette away, you breathe in again. That's the easier method and it won't hurt your lungs as bad. Because that way, you're taking the smoke in to your mouth. And then you're breathing more oxygen into your lung. Uh than the cigarette. So all you get is really just oxygenated nicotine cigarette. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here since it's going on 30. I want to tell y'all to have a great day. This was another skull review. If you like this video, sorry about the lens flare behind me. It's my fan. Uh, I had to get some light on so y'all could see me at least. Uh, Yeet. I'm trying to move my head in front of it. Uh, but if you all like this video, give it that thumbs up. Let me know. If you don't like it and you feel like I've, you know, hurt you in any way, tell me about it. Maybe I can help you through that. Because let me tell you something. This is a community of dippers, smokers, all alike, video gamers, hell. If we keep cutting people's throats for every little word that they say, then we're just the government. But vaping, I've been saying it from day one when that damn thing came out with the damn e-cigarettes. When the first accident started happening, that they are not safe. Do I want to charge a battery up and then pop it up to my lip and suck on the battery no I'm not going to do that but that's basically what people do when they vape basically sucking on a battery if I'm going to stick to what I know that because I've seen people live to their a hundred there's one guy who has lived to a hundred and something just smoking cigars. 
So what really is the harm in it? My, one of my grandfathers used to dip. He dipped until he was 99. Passed away of a car crash. But they said that he was healthier than a damn tick until that car crash. One of my friend's grandparents. One of them dipped, one of them smoked. Right now they would be both 98. The grandfather had a business where he worked with industrial glues. So he wound up dying from it. Uh, the grandmother's still around. So there's your statement there. But yeah, like I said before, this is the end of the video. Just, just do what you feel comfortable doing. And accept the consequences of that action. But when it comes down to vaping, that action is the vape companies. Making it so easy for ki teenagers and kids to get these their hands on these products. Cigarettes they've done and did. You have to be 21 or at certain ages to buy these things. So the government has helped them monitor that. Uh, vaping is still brand new to the government. They don't really know what it is. So they're still trying to figure it out. So hopefully in the next few years, they'll figure it out. But like I said, I love y'all. Smile more. And keep on dipping. Keep on doing what you do. And have a good day.